Hello, guys. Hi, 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 YouTube. I kind of wanted to um, quickly go over the new characters being announced for the collaboration with um, Azul Lane and uh, To Love Rue. To Love Rue. And um, we obviously already did the video going over, you know, like the, the live stream and all of that. But I kind of wanted to just look at the design one after the other. We had the official quote unquote drip marketing on Twitter. And so we actually have all the information because obviously the live stream was only in Japanese, Japanese. So now we have full confirmation of what they are. And I thought that like kind of condensing all the information together would be good. So first and foremost, obviously we have Lala Settling Devaluk. I'm Lala and I'm from Planet Devaluk. What's your name? Just call you Commander. What's your name? She says, okay. Uh, Lala Settling Devaluk is preparing to sortie. She will grab your... She will grab, Jesus Christ. She will grace your dog in your future, Commander. So obviously here we have Lala and she's looking super, super cute. Now we can doubly confirm that she is indeed a heavy cruiser as we saw. I mean, we saw everything during the live stream, but here it's nice to, to see that here. And um, in terms of design, obviously she's looking great. Um, she looks super cute. This is her classic outfit, so classic, classic uh, alien outfit. Uh, she has Peke on her head. Uh, so Peke is kind of a badge that she can wear on her. And it's kind of like a... It's a sentient being that can transform her clothes or transform into her clothes. So it's really cool to have it here. Uh, so she obviously has the wings on her head and she has her own tail, of course, because she's an alien, as you can see. And uh, she has her big machine in the back, which is kind of a... It has the power. It has like a suction power. Um, and it's kind of fun, and it is obviously tentacles, as you can see. There's also a big fish here, which I assume is kind of tied to, I mean, obviously she's going to be a ship girl here, so that's uh, that's great and, uh, and and lovely. We can see all of the face facial expression as well. So I'm going to be zooming a little bit here to show you guys. Uh, right there. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry if it's not like super high quality. Uh, also, it's a bit of a pain. But yeah, you can see like a kind of surprised... Surprise determined. We also have very, very happy face. Okay, this is gonna be pay. I'm not gonna do that because anyway, she's looking cute, she's looking happy, and I'm happy too. Um, so there we go. Anyway, I'm very excited for her. Um and I'm looking forward to see what she can do. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm always like I'm I am lacking some like heavy cruisers uh in my account right now. So she is going to be a lovely Addition. I, I hope she's gonna be strong. Now moving on to the other SR characters. Um, so just to be clear, when we're talking about SR, especially compared to the Japanese live stream where they use SSR, um, SR is the golden rarity. Okay, so there we go. Now you know because like in Japanese they say SSR for golden as well, and then it kind of gets confused between the two languages. So there we go. She's a golden rarity. Now, moving on to the next character, we have Golden Darkness. I'm Golden Darkness, pleasure to make your acquaintance. So, Golden Darkness right here is a little bit of a cutie pie. For those who don't know, she's also an alien. She has that very cute, like, goth outfit with all of the belts. And um, she's a girl that actually, she hates etchiness. She does not like that at all. And uh, she has the power to transform any body part of hers into anything she wants. Uh, she's quote-unquote like a living weapon. Um, and that's why you can see here her hair is actually transforming into a rig. So you can see the hair transforming into blades, transforming into cannons, transforming into hands. And that is how she actually fights. I think she looks fantastic. She's a massive fan of Tayaki. That's why she has this little bag with Tayakis on it. Um, so here she's actually going to be a battle sheep, and I'm very, very excited about her. I think overall she's one of my favorite characters in To Love Rue in general. Uh, she's kind of a kudere, she doesn't like etchne, she kind of is very, like, um, in her own corner, very, very chill reading books. Um, but she ends up, you know, she can, she can go into serious mode and kick some ass, so very, very nice. Now moving on, we obviously have Momo Belia Develuk. So Momo is obviously the sister of Lala. And she says, hi there, you're the commander of this port, right? I'm Momo Belia Develuk, but you can just call me Momo. So here we have her. She has power over plants and that is reflected here. She has a lot of flowers, leaves in her design, obviously. 
the, uh, the, the green as well in her outfit uh, certainly shows that aspect. And she here is a light cruiser. Very, very cool. So her rig seems to be some metallic kind of flowers from which you can probably like shoot um, torpedoes and stuff like that. Also, we kind of saw like quickly in the uh, live stream, she actually can summon plants. Uh, so there, there are like literal plants or tentacle plants like that spawns in the water and attack the enemies. So I could see that being very useful. Maybe it can tank for you, protect you a little bit and all of that, which is nice. So that said, she's also an SR. Right now I'm covering all of the SR and then we'll check the other rarity. So obviously I think her design is very cool. Is her tail actually longer than the... I think her tail is actually a bit longer here. Uh, but yeah, she's uh, looking very, very cute and she has at least all... Uh, let's keep this a secret. She kind of has uh, that Miss Perfect kind of look and like very prim and proper uh, personality when she's, you know, like in public. But she's actually kind of, she's very lewd and very etchy and she's certainly trying to get her way. She's the one that tries to instigate the harem route for the protagonist. So we'll see how that ends up. Um, I wonder, like for those kind of characters, I wonder what's going to happen in terms of like the relationship with the commander, right? It's like, because like for collab, I assume that collab characters are not like into the commander because I, I can imagine that could cause a lot of trouble with, you know, different communities. Um, so I wonder how that's going to be presented. Um, this is my first collab for Azulain, as you can tell. So I'm really wondering if you guys know for like the past events, um, do leave a comment to, to tell me because I'm curious. Now, move in on. We have Nana. Nana, Astar, Devaluk, which is the last trio, the last sister of the trio. Uh-huh, so you're the commander. I'm Nana, la last little sister. This port you've got here is pretty lively. So there she is. Uh, Nana is very soon soon, uh, very self-conscious about her breast size. Um, and she actually has, compared to her sister here, Momo, who has the power to actually communicate with plants and summon them, um, Nana has the power to communicate with animals and summon them as well. So that's why she has, like, little penguins here that she can actually summon in combat to, to help shoot the enemies, um, in the zero lane, right, as a sheep girl. So her design is very cute, compared to her sister, she has the, she, obviously, a red tone, and, um... You know, she's like a little, very adorable with a little fang there. Uh, very, very cute. And she's a destroyer. So what's really interesting here is that you can literally have the trio sister in the front line, each having a separate role, right? We have Momo as a heavy cruiser. Then we have Momo as the light cruiser. And finally, in the middle, we could have Nana as this destroyer. And honestly, I'm probably going to do a fleet with all three like that in the front line because I think it's super cute. <laughs> I like I mean the I mean pink hair is absolutely amazing, and having all three of them being in the front line is just going to make me happy. It is what it is. And then we can obviously have Golden Darkness in the back line as a battleship uh, in the main fleet. Let's put it this way. So those are all four SR ship girls. For the collab. Now we also have two elites uh, sheep girls which are right here. So first and foremost we have Haruna Sairenji. My name is Haruna Sairenji. I'm a second year student at Sainen High School but somehow I've ended up here. So she's the, the, the classic childhood friend obviously and she's uh, very very cute. Um, that said I, I feel like very often case the childhood friends tend to be a bit you know put to the wayside. Although for those who don't know to love Rukana ended up in a, in an um, open-ended way, so we don't really know who the protagonist ends up with or if there's a harem root. There's a long story about this. I'm not going to get into the details. But anyway, here she is a battle cruiser, And obviously, so she actually has a dog, and that's why you can see here her rigging is actually shaped like her dog. And she actually fights with those um, her torpedoes, actually, um, extinguishers. So that's kind of fun. Um, anyway, she's in a high school outfit. And she's looking pretty sweet and confused as to why she's here. Uh, finally, 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 we have Yui Kotegawa. Uh, Yui Kotegawa Sen High Discipline Committee. If I'm in to intrude on your report, then I promise to uphold discipline in return. So she's kind of like the Miss President, Miss Perfect President. She is the girl that always says that uh, the people around her are shameless uh, when they end up in, you know, silly, etchy situations. 
And so that's why you can see she has a very um, judgy finger being pointed at you because she's like, what are you doing? Stop being shameless. Uh, but yeah, she's essentially very vicured, and here we can see she's an aircraft carrier. So every single one of those ships have a different, um, a different category, let's say. So we have the heavy cruiser, destroyer, light cruiser, battleship, battle cruiser, and aircraft carrier. So that's interesting. Now you can see that her rigging uh, certainly looks like a JoJo stand. Um, but, uh, yeah, itself, it has also the pointy finger, uh, one of the hand is holding a handcuffs, another one is handing a ruler, and the last one, it looks like a, um, a banner, I think, maybe, I'm not sure, I think it's a banner, so it's very, the, 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 you know, like, the, the banner holder of the team, she's the one that's going to motivate everyone and make sure that everyone stays in line, kinda. Uh, so there we go. Those are the six ship girls coming in from the collaboration. Now, apart from all of that, I did want to kind of give you my opinion regarding design. Which are my favorites, which are maybe not as interesting. And I'm, at the end of the day, sorry. <laughs> this is not meant to, tell, to say that like one is better than the other. This is purely subjective preferences. The one I'm most excited about, in my opinion, for me, is going to be Golden Darkness. I think her rigging looks amazing, her powers are awesome, her dress is lovely, and she's my favorite character. Now, the thing is that I kind of like Lala, but the problem I have with Lala is that um, she's like a genius inventor and that's super cool and stuff, but I actually think that her outfit is not my favorite. I actually prefer the sister's outfit a little bit more. And I think in terms of personality, I do like Momo. I am partial to a lady that knows what she wants and goes for it. <laughs> so I would say my favorite is gonna be Golden Darkness or Yami-chan. Then it's gonna be Momo. Then I think while the sister is very cute, I think I prefer She's a very old-school tsundere. I think nowadays tsundere as a trope has kind of evolved and then not as, you know, like, I'm mad and I'm beating you up, you know? And I kind of like, I kind of like a tsundere who's a little bit less just straight-up violent, you know what I mean? So I think Nana, unfortunately, is too tropey for me. Even though I might like her outfit better than Lala, unfortunately, I prefer Lala's personality better and her strength better, so I'm gonna put her here, and then we have Nana. Ugh, I'm hesitating. You know what? I think design is gonna trump it here. I think, I think I'm gonna go purely on design, and if I have to go purely on design, I actually like the red and black better. Red and black is just so pretty. Okay, I changed my mind. Golden Darkness is first, second is gonna be Nana, third is gonna be Momo, Fourth is gonna be Lala. And then for the last two, well, Arena is very cute. I'm less into shorter hair. And also the dog rigging. I'm a cat person. I don't really care for it. Uh, and compare, at least even if she's an elite, and you can tell because they're only wearing, you know, school uniform. It's a bit, you know, tame. Um, I think the Jojo stand is really cool. So I think this is gonna be... Uh, this is... She She wins this, uh, this, this competition versus Haruna. So fortunately, the, the, the childhood friend loses once again. <laughs> She's my least favorite in terms of design and rigging. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, regardless of my preferences, I still like all six characters and I'm definitely going to try to get all six of them, right? Uh, again, as we know, uh, as has, has been announced, uh, Momo is going to be... Uh, in the shop, as well as you'll be able to farm her. She's gonna be a map drop. And uh, Katagawa, you will be able to get her just from accumulating points. And Haruna is... She's gonna be on banner. The, the other three will be on banner. So there we go. Rate up on banner. So those would be my thoughts on the ship girls and how much I like their designs. Let me know what you guys think, who is best girl to you, and or who has the best design to you. Do you know to love you? Are you interested in it? Are you hyped? Would you have rather have another collab? Do let me know everything down in the comment, like, subscribe, all the good good. And next 
for Azulane. I'll be covering all of the new skin that we have for the collab characters. I'm not gonna do a video specifically for like the the other skins, even though I love them. I think uh, Ulrich skin is fantastic. But I kinda wanna focus on those characters because uh, it feels a little bit special. Anyway, cheers and see you next time.